everyone. Welcome back to Addie P's Real Estate Tea, where today we are going to discuss the November 2019 housing market report for the Lehigh Valley. And we're going to briefly touch upon the industry outlook for 2020 uh, nationally. Uh, again, thank you for joining me. If you're a new subscriber, returning subscriber, I appreciate all the love. If you're watching this from Instagram, thank you for showing me some love there as well. Um, also, remember, uh, if you're watching from YouTube, if you like what you hear, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification to be notified of future videos on this channel. Awesome. Let's get started. Locally, November 2019 gave us another month of steady and low interest rates. In fact, they were down 1% in comparison to November of 2018. And industry experts anticipate that that trend is going to continue well into 2020. Also locally here, we did experience yet another month of shrinking inventory. We are down to two months worth of inventory, and that's down 9.6% to 614 listings that we had this month. Now, prices continue to gain traction. As a matter of fact, they increased 5.1% to 205,000, which is awesome. And uh, days on the market decreased. They're at 34 days on the market. Um, and that was down 10.5% in comparison to this time last year. So that's definitely great news for our sellers that want to put their homes on the market. Now, unfortunately, um, what we have been seeing, um, not only just locally here, but nationally, is the slight uptick and in increase in total household debt. Um, in fact, what they're saying is that um, the uh, cons it's been consecutive, excuse me, over 21 quarters um, that this household debt continues to rise and that it is actually now 1.3 trillion higher than um, the last industry marker, which was at 12.68 Tr uh, trillion, which was back in 2008. So that's a bit troubling in the sense of if you are looking to buy, that can really hinder um, your purchasing power and so forth. So that's something that if you feel that you're in that position, might not be a bad idea to talk to a credit counselor, um, you know, get some guidance that way, some kind of financial advisor, uh, look over your monthly expenses and really get that tailored down uh, so it's not inhibiting your purchasing power. All right, so on the national forefront for 2020, most industry experts do anticipate that um, we are going to continue to see mortgage rates well below 4%. Uh, so that is, again, music to buyers' ears, the cheap, inexpensive way to borrow and to purchase your home. Also, in the buyer news, um, we are seeing the re-entry, or the entry, excuse me, of millennial buyers uh, on the market, which uh, prior to this period of time, uh, millennials were a little slow to get into purchasing. Um, mainly, a lot had reported, uh, you know, student loan debt, the lack of affordability, but now that seems to be within their reach. So that's awesome news, um, you know, for buyers and especially millennial buyers. Um, we are seeing and we are predicting to see uh, yet again another year of increased building. Uh, building permits were up quite a bit this year, and they're anticipating that trend to continue on. A lot of builders are catering towards uh, 55 plus and boomers uh, to um who are looking to downsize their uh, current properties from their current properties and get into something more accommodating. So that um, is where a lot of the builders are shifting their um, their building towards. So um, unfortunately, we are uh, going to see uh, potentially um, some uh, more slowdown of the inventory. Let's hope not, but um, they are anticipating that um, that shrinkage of inventory may continue. So if you are a seller, again, that's kind of on the fence as far as what you want to do as far as purchasing, or excuse me, as far as listing your home or not, definitely contact a real estate professional and go over all your options to see, yes, of course, is this the right thing for you to do? But ultimately, um, you may 
may be surprised with the results from that. Uh, but again, on a national forefront for 2020, it is being predicted to be a very good um, year. They're very optimistic about the outcome. And um, even though there are some talks about potentially um, you know, the uh, recession hitting, they're saying that it's not going to hit the housing market as heavily as um, it did back in 20, uh, 2008. So, um, you know, that's, that's good news for us. Um, you know, it's kind of a 50-50 thing that I've heard on this recession. I definitely am following it uh, to see uh, indeed where it's going to go. Um, but some are even saying that they don't think it's going to hit at all. So it'll be interesting to see. Nonetheless, thank you again for joining me today. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Please don't forget, comment below. And as always, thank you all and have a blessed day. Take care.